If you haven't entered my $40 million shark card giveaway yet, do so right now. You have until the release of the nightclub update to do so, so click the link in the description below. Hello guys, what's going on? My name is Sam, or Chaotic, and welcome back to another GTA 5 video here on my channel. Now in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the six confirmed cars and vehicles that we know about so far, which will be coming to GTA Online this month in July in the nightclub update. Although, yes, there are other vehicles that we know about too that may also be added to the nightclub update, upwards of 20 in fact. In this video, we're going to be solely focusing on the vehicles Rockstar have announced and confirmed so far, both officially and accidentally. So let's go ahead then and jump straight into things and start off with this car first of all, because this exact car is what we believe to be the Ocelot Swinger, or at least what the Ocelot Swinger will be heavily based upon, because this exact car that I'm showcasing right now in the gameplay is actually a real car from real life, it's the Jaguar E-Type from 1961. I managed to get this car in-game through using mods on PC, so I can take a closer look at what the Ocelot Swinger might be very similar to, and there are a number of reasons why we believe this car will be very similar, if not identical, to the Ocelot Swinger the Rockstar have announced and confirmed on the Newswire. Now, although Rockstar haven't revealed anything about this car apart from its name, they haven't given us any images or any gameplay or anything along those lines, just its name itself reveals quite a bit. The name Swinger is actually the name of a Jaguar E-Type in real life that featured in Austin Powers. Here is an image of that right now. The vehicle in that movie actually actually had the license plate Swinger and was nicknamed that and is very well known for it also. And we of course know the Rockstar love to add vehicles in GTA 5 based upon vehicles from movies and TV shows. For example, the Vigilante is based upon the Batmobile, the Deluxo is based upon the DeLorean from Back to the Future, but if the name itself wasn't enough of a giveaway, Rockstar will be offering an exclusive livery for this car as well as one of the guest list bonuses named the Queen and Country livery, which presumably will be some form of British flag livery, just like the one that featured in the movie Austin Powers on this exact car. Moving on though to vehicle number two, and what you're seeing is a limousine or a stretch version of the Mammoth Patriots that we already have in GTA 5. Now, although what you're seeing is not the final or official version of what's to come, this is just a mod of the original, there will be a stretch version of the Mammoth Patriots in the nightclub update. One of the vehicles Rockstar accidentally revealed and leaked themselves on their very own website is this, which will be named the Mammoth Patriot Stretch. So effectively will just be a stretched or limousine version of the Mammoth Patriot. Again, Rockstar haven't shared any official images or gameplay of what this vehicle will be like once added, but I'd imagine it will be a little longer than what you're seeing right now in the gameplay. But then again, this vehicle will probably be storable in our garages, so it probably won't be much longer if it is going to be a storable vehicle. Unless, of course, the new nightclub properties have their very own storage space for or a much longer limousine version of the vehicle you're seeing right now in the gameplay. But either way, I think it's safe to say, whether it's longer or shorter, it will definitely be storable somewhere because we haven't received a Pegasus vehicle in a long time. And it's also worth noting as well, it will be the first limo style vehicle that will be storable in GTA Online, as the only two limos that we have in game, the limo and the turreted limo, are both Pegasus vehicles. And seeing that it will be storable, I'm sure it will also have customization options available for it too. Hopefully a lot more than what the Patriot has in game right now, as its customizations are pretty basic. Moving on though to car number three, and this, what you're seeing right now in the gameplay, is what we believe the Ennis Stafford, one of the other vehicles Rockstar also accidentally revealed and leaked in the guest list bonuses they have listed on a hidden section of their website. The car itself being that you're seeing in the gameplay is the Rolls-Royce Silver Shadow from 1977. Now apart from Ennis being the in-game version of the two car brands Rolls-Royce and Bentley from real life, the Stafford also featured in one of the past GT games, Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Now, the Stafford was heavily based upon this car. In fact, it was almost identical, and as I'm sure you guys all know, Rockstar loved to bring back past cars from old GTA games and classify them as throwback classic vehicles, with cars like the Albany Hermes, the Infernus Classic, and the Turismo Classic, just to name a few. So that's why I wouldn't be too surprised if Rockstar based the new Ender Stafford coming in this update upon the original Stafford from GTA San Andreas. 
Now also releasing in the nightclub update this month, there'll be a brand new version or a brand new variant of this van that you're seeing right now in the gameplay. This being the Vapid Speedo. According to that leak the Rockstar accidentally made on their website, there'll be a brand new version of this vehicle named the Vapid Speedo Custom. And again, unfortunately we haven't got any images or gameplay of this new version, so we have no idea what variation there'll be between the original and the new Speedo Custom, but I should imagine it'll be very similar to the Rumpo Custom the Rockstar released in GTA Online last year in the Gun Running update. Now, although you can't really customize the new Rumpo Custom, it comes like this from standard with a lift kit, ball bars on the front, side steps, a roof rack, and much, much more. I can see this new Speedo Custom being very similar, but hopefully it will be customizable so we can apply these upgrades ourselves. Hopefully it's very similar to the Fister Comet in some ways where we can take it to our mobile operations center or our Avenger and upgrade it to the Fister Comet Safari and then apply all the off-road customizations that we want. And I'm pretty sure that's exactly what Rockstar will do with this new custom variant of the Speedo. Otherwise, if there was something else, I'm not really too sure exactly what Rockstar would do. If you guys do have any ideas, of course, let me know right now in the comment section. But the Rumpo Custom, I'd imagine, is as similar as we can possibly get with this vehicle before Rockstar officially show us with some gameplay or by releasing it in-game. Anyway, moving on though to the final two vehicles that we know about so far that have been confirmed by Rockstar, those being the MTL Pounder Custom and the Maibatsu Mule Custom. Now, of course, Rockstar officially announced the MTL Pounder Custom on the Newswire when they first announced the nightclub update. As for the Maibatsu Mule Custom, this was more revealed in the leak they made on their website. But essentially, both of these trucks that you're seeing right now in the gameplay will have a brand new custom variant added to GTA Online in the nightclub update. Now again, we have no idea what these two vehicles will be like and what different variations there'll be with these vehicles between the originals that have been in GTA 5 since day one. As for the Mule, there are several different versions of this in-game already. The one you're seeing in the gameplay right now is the one from the Heist update, the one you can buy and has a bull bar on the front. But as for the Pounder, the other truck you can also see, this being the slightly bigger one, there's only one version though of this in-game as far as I'm aware of. Now, as for exactly what these two vehicles might have in the terms of custom variants, well, I'd imagine they'll have very similar customization options to the trucks that we saw or received in the gun running update, the hauler custom and the phantom custom. We'll have the option to put like armored plating on the front and on the windows, the ability to obviously customize the paint and the liveries on those as well and hopefully a lot more also. But in the terms of owning these trucks in the nightclub update, there's a good chance you might only have the option of buying one or the other and not having the ability to buy both. Similar to the MOC truck caps. You don't need to own both, both the Phantom and the Hauler. You only need one to pull your MOC. So Rockstar only give you the option to buy one or the other. You can't own both. And seeing that these two trucks are very similar in some ways, they're both cargo trucks. I should imagine Rockstar will only give you the option to buy one or the other in this update also. Now exactly for what use or for what purpose, we don't really know just yet. My best guess would be they'll be used for some form of cargo or delivery system in this new update. Maybe in some way, shape or form, they'll be related to a side business alongside the nightclub business. But there have been a few theories and suggestions that these may act as new versions of the MOC and the Avenger, where there are certain activities you can only do and perform in the back of these trucks. So for example, maybe the doors will open up and you can drive vehicles inside to customize them. Maybe there'll be weapon workshops in the back and stuff like that. But personally, I'm not so sure. We already have the MOC and the Avenger for that. So unless Rockstar offers some form of exclusive feature or abilities in the back of here that we can't do in either of those two, buying one of these would be pretty pointless. And I'm sure you guys would agree, and that's why I think these trucks have more chance of being related to the delivery or cargo storage system than being a mobile base of operations. But what do you guys think about that one? Let me know right now in the comment section. But I can definitely see these trucks being limited to owning just one, so you couldn't own both the Pounder and the Mule, you can only buy and own one or the other. 
anyway. But there we go then, guys. With that being said, that is it then for today's video. Those then are six known and confirmed vehicles to be coming to GTA Online in the nightclub update. I want to get your thoughts and feelings on these six vehicles. And hopefully once more of the other known vehicles are announced and confirmed by Rockstar Games, we can discuss those more in detail as well. But until then, I want you guys to go ahead and drop a like on this video if you've enjoyed it. If you guys could leave a comment as well, let me know your thoughts and feelings about these. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, make sure you do, because I upload all the latest and the greatest Grand Theft Auto 5 content. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.